Hey guys, how are we doing? As you can see, once again, I'm back out in the field. It is becoming one of my favorite spots to come and fly, the 3DR Solo. In today's video, we're just gonna go over a few of the other smart features that it has. Um, we'll probably go over cable cam and zip line maybe in this video. I'll actually keep follow me for a complete video by itself because follow me actually has quite a few different features within follow me. So without wasting too much time guys, let's get it up in the air and let's go for one of the smart shots. Hold fly, we're ready to fly. And hold fly to take off as well. There she goes, what I'll do is I'll actually hit record now on the actual quad. And we should be recording there. I haven't got no ND filter or anything on today, but I'm recording a 2.7K. So let's take it forward. And I think what we'll do is make sure it's steady at the moment. Face it towards me. And there we go. So let's go straight into one of the features. Again, hit the little movie symbol on the bottom left hand side. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for cable cam. Not sure if you guys can see that. I've got sunshade on it as well now that I've modified. It's actually a DJI one that I've modified, but we'll get to that another time. But let's get straight back to this cable cam. It says press A to set start point A. So this will be the start point. I'll have it facing. Actually, what we'll do is we'll bring it a little bit over here. Don't want to bring it too close to the trees. And I think we'll bring it a little bit higher. A bit more away from them trees, I think. Face the camera slightly down on me. And we'll set that as position A on the cable cam by pressing the button A. And it says press A to add a point or press B to set an end point. So you can, I guess you can add multiple points. But what we'll do is we'll go and set an end point. We'll just do a straight line. So we'll go that way. And we'll set a B point, which will be the end point. And we'll just set that there just to test, test it a little bit. And we'll bring the altitude up higher as well so it goes in a diagonal, hopefully. And again, we'll turn it around. And we will face me when I come into view there. And now what I'll do is I'll press B to set the end point. Press B. So now that's done. Now all I need to do is at the end point already. So I guess I hit the back button, which is kind of like a rewind button. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And she should return back to me. Well, she should come to the other end of the cable car, cable cam. Let's go. So look, it's actually doing the motion. That's quite cool. And it's come back to the end of the cable cam. That's quite cool. Let's go the other way. And when we go this way, what I'll do is I'll actually see if I can do any movements on the actual camera for, to start with and see if there's anything else. There we go. We're going to go down on the camera. Gimbal. Yes. That works quite well. And let's see if we can do any yaw movements. Yep. Can also do that while it's still running on the actual cable cam. It's quite cool. Let's run it back the other way again. Uh, let's see if we can raise the altitude on it. Uh, that's moving it forward. I'm not sure if you can. I think it stays on the same altitude, and but you can have play with the yaw and move the camera up and down which is quite cool there you go guys that's the actual cable cam which is quite cool i guess you could set up some quite cool cinematic shots with that and just focus on basically keeping your camera in focus and in view of whatever you're trying to film so i like that feature very cool i might figure out something some way of using it maybe with my son riding down a bike uh, down a path on his bike and set up a little cable cam see how that goes might try that out in the next few videos or so. Anyway guys, what I'll do is I'll exit the shot there and that is cable cam. 
must say it's a very nice day today and Solo is looking very nice. I will move it out a little bit because Solo is loud. Solo is definitely louder than the Hudson. So let's go straight into the next feature on it that we're going to try today. And what it will be, we've already done selfie, now we just did cable cam and we've done orbit. I'm going to leave follow me for another video and pano, we'll see. But what we'll do is we'll try zip line. We'll see what zip line is. Again, point A towards direction of travel. Okay, so that will be, let's bring, let's bring it back a little bit actually. So that will be the direction of travel. We'll put it as, and we'll set that as A. And then it says, that's it. Lock camera or play. Where will it go though? So, okay. Okay. So now I think I have to lock the camera. I'm hoping this doesn't go forward, so I'm going to have my finger ready on the... Uh, lock myself on the target. So if we hit lock camera, it should lock the camera hopefully on me. Now if I press that button... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to go that way. Woo, that was scary, guys. So we'll stop that again. So basically what you do is, it's the first time I've done it guys, a bit scary, started going towards the trees because I actually hit the wrong button myself. So again, nothing to do with solo. So what zip line is, we'll exit the shot and we'll do it again. So you come into zip line. I'll have to get used to this a lot more in next videos, but I'll show you basically what it is. So it says, the path you want the zip line basically straight path you want solo to fly in face it that way press a it brings you into this section it's got an options menu that gives you cruise speed and a fixed altitude but then what you need to do there's a little symbol on it that says lock camera so lock the camera where you want it to stay on to and we'll focus it onto me we'll click lock camera and then previously i hit that button which sent the quad that way so i'm going to this time hit the right hand side which should send the quad that way should have known that anyway but let's go again there she goes and she stays locked onto me onto the point that i set and then we hit pause don't want it going too far and that's it line guys so i'm not too i wouldn't say i'm too fond of the feature yet but maybe i just need to get to used to it a bit more and I'll exit that shot quickly so it stops on the zip line so there you go from what i could see there you could actually move it as well along the zip line yourself but and you still am so i'm just going to quickly exit that shot and we're going to fly and bring her back to me now so there you go guys like i say again that's the zip line that's just a quick look at it i need to have a little more of a play with it myself and see exactly what it is but out of them two shots i will say i preferred the actual first one, if I remember right, I keep forgetting, don't want to mix them up, was cable cam, yes. So I preferred cable cam out of them features, but so far out of the features that we've tried on the actual solo, my favorite is orbit mode. And you can see that in my previous video, make sure you go watch that. In that video, I actually tried orbit and selfie. And like I say, my favorite actual thing at the moment is orbit mode. I see myself getting some really good shots of some good places with that. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video where we'll try follow me mode out in its full entirety. Thanks guys, bye.